It's now time for the Rebirth Sports Full Game Recap. We go all the way back to January 26th, the year 2023, when the Nashville Predators were welcoming in the New Jersey Devils to Bridgestone Arena. John Hines deploys his lines in the following way. Forsberg, Glass, Duchesne, Niederreiter, Johansson, and Grenland make up your second line. Smith, Parsonen, and Sissons make up your third line. Trenton, Novak, and Juno. Your defensive pairings, McDonough and Yossi, Ekholm, and Carrier. Gravel in with Fabro. Of course, we just talked about Carrier going to be out four to six weeks injured in the last game against Winnipeg. UC Soros gets the start in net, and let's just get right to it. We're only 21 seconds into this brand new hockey game, and UC Soros has already come out with a save on Severinsen, and it's going to be the first shot on goal of the game. 3-11 into the First, Soros comes with a save on Heashier. Traffic was kept to the outside. An easy stop and look for the netminder of the Nashville Purse. 517, Blackwood's in the game, engaged with a save on Fabro, plus Parsonen's rebound jam. A scrum after the whistle, showing some emotion between these interconference rivals here early in the first period. 539 into the first, Soros comes with a save on Pilata, close range on a low high play pass from below the goal line. A really, really slick pass. From below the goal line. 654, Blackwood comes up with a save on Geno off the rush. 739, Smith for New Jersey is off to the box. Two minutes for high sticking. Philip Forsberg would hit the post. The National Purge would generate incredible zone time and great possession, but they were unable to beat Blackwood. 1019 just after the PK. Bratt gets New Jersey on the board with his 19th goal of the season. He fakes the clapper. He opens up Sorrows, delays just enough to get it through the five hole. The Devils have a 1 0 lead at Bridgestone Arena. 1037 into the first period. Blackwood off to the box. No, he's not actually off to the box. He's getting a penalty. Two minutes for tripping on Niederreiter's drive to the net. Someone would be taking that time in the box. The Nashville Purs would be going on the power play, though. Blackwood would have to stay in as punishment and stop the Nashville Purs. He would come up with a big save on Duchesne from the slot, but he would not. Not be able to stop Glass, who scores his seventh goal of the season. It was Tommy Novak taking the shot from out high, and Glass jams till it goes into the net. Incredible play and effort to see here by Glass out there on the power play. 1-1 hockey game in the first period. 13-17 in the first period. Blackwood comes up with a save on Luzon off of the rush at 15-57. Shigrovich comes up with his 11th goal. This is a wrist shot from the left circle off of Hughes's sick feed. The Devils now have a 2-1 lead over the National Purse at Bridgestone Arena, but it is going to be Cole Smith at 16-20 immediately responding, making the game 2-2 two two on his second goal of the season. It was just an absolute perfect deflection with the shaft of the stick. While setting the screen in front of Blackwood, Parsonen was the one who released the shot that was able to be deflected in by Cole Smith. Now, Cole Smith's second goal of the season, 1953, into the first period. Blackwood has to come up with a save on Johansson on the breakaway with the end of the first period. And Nashville is out shooting New Jersey 22 to 8. 22 shots on goal for the Nashville Purse in the first period. The game itself is tied at two apiece. Straight up into the second period, just 33 seconds, and Saros coming up with a save on Palat. He squeezed the arm and held on to this one. 301, you see Saros back to work, coming up with another big save, but at 406, Hughes would beat Saros with his 31st goal of the season. It was a loose puck. It hit the traffic in front and finds Hughes wide open at the top of the crease. He deposits that puck into the back of the net for the Devils to pick up a 3-2 lead. Third time in this game now, the Devils have been ahead by one. 642 of the second period, Bastion hits the crossbar 811 glass off the box two minutes for interference UC Saros has to come up with a big save on Palat's one timer and then a few seconds later a save on Mercer from straight away in the slot two really big back-to-back -back saves here by UC Saros 1121 of the second period Blackwood comes up with a save on Luzon at 1133 it's Mikhail Granlund's sixth goal of the season ties the game up at three apiece it was Ryan Johansson who turned the puck over along the half while he fires the puck on net Mikhail Granlund directs the puck onto the net and then he directs it with his skate and then puts it in off of the blade of his stick. Truly incredible hand-eye coordination right here uh, by Mikhail Granlin. You had to see the super slow-mo reverse angle replay to truly appreciate and understand all of the nuance of this goal. Mikhail Granlin, sixth goal of the season, ties the game up at three apiece. Another hard-working, greasy jam goal for the National Purse. 13-23 over the second period. Blackwood comes with a save on Genoa at close range. 16-19. Saros, a save on Hamilton's long shot at 18-27. Saros comes up with the save on Tatar. We go to the second intermission with this game tied up at three apiece. The National Purse out shooting the New Jersey Devils 32 
to 18. So each team 10 shots on goal in the second period. 48 seconds into the third period, UC Saros comes up with a save right here. Then 323 into the third period, UC Saros comes with a save on Heesher. 522 of the third period. Cole Smith off to the box. Two minutes for high sticking. Now, the Smith on each team has picked up a minor in this game for high sticking. Blackwood comes up with a save on Janos. Breakaway shorthanded, but then UC Saros has to go to work, and it is an intense workload. He comes up with the first big initial save on Hughes, then has to follow it up with four more saves throughout this power play by New Jersey. Saros holding strong, holding the line. This game is so intense. We are headed to the back of the sheet. That's where we find it, 8.49 of the third period. Matt Duchesne's got his 14th goal of the season. He was initially stopped off of the rush by Blackwood, followed his own shot to the net, jam with the backhand finish. Matt Duchesne's 14th goal of the season gives the National Purse a 4-3 lead in the third period. 13-24 of the third. Saros comes up with a save on Graves. New Jersey pushing hard, really generating some good offense Offensive zone time at this point. 14.58. Saros comes up with a save on Severson. 15.41. Blackwood comes up with a save on Glass off of the rush. 16.05. Forsberg's 19th goal of the season gives the Preds a 5 to 3 lead in the third period. It was Matt Duchesne's pass and the spinning pass reception by Forsberg in the neutral zone that leads to the partial breakaway. So Duchesne springs a partial breakaway. Forsberg finishes with the no doubter, giving the Preds a 5-3 to three lead and a very, very important goal. 16-23 of the third period. Saros comes up with a save on Rederland at 16-36. Saros comes up with a save on Halla two times on the doorstep, former Nashville Purr. Halla 17-46 in the 6-on-5 scenario, and it was insane out there. Mercer's 11th goal of the season makes it 5 Five four now in favor of the National Purse. So back to a one goal game. It was an, an absolute scramble, and I think it was the fourth attempt at the net before they could get it past UC Saros. Even though UC Saros was down, out, and out of position, he was still somehow hanging into the play until this final shot, of course. 5-4 to four game now with uh, just a couple minutes to go We're back to the 6-on-5 scenario. Forsberg's hitting the post, 19-52. Tanner Jones getting the empty net goal. His fifth goal of the season, two goals now, two games, and that gives the Preds a 6-4 to four lead, and that would be your final score. 41-40 to 40 in shots on goal. The National Purse outshoot the New Jersey Devils. So you had 10 goals and 81 total shots on goal. The home team comes back from down by a goal three times. New Jersey scores one late to make it interesting. That was a fantastic interconference hockey game at Bridgestone Arena tonight. You typically do not see games that are that high spirited, that highly competitive when East meets West at this time of the year, especially with the National Purse getting ready to head off to the All-Star break. John Hines said it before going into this game. Uh, 2-0 and o was really good, but 3-0 and o to close out this homestand, or at least close out this portion of the homestand going into the All-Star break, would be great, and that's exactly what the National Purse did. They came up with an impressive victory. Coming back from down a goal, 3-2 different times against the Devils and ultimately winning this game 6-4. to four. The National Predators certainly took themselves out of their own comfort zone. Having to score six goals to win a game is not something that they've had to do very many times this season. They're used to playing lower score games than this, and when they do find success, it's usually because UC Saros is able to keep their opponent to two at or three at the very most. Overcoming uh, four goals, that's a lot for this National Predators team, and they go 3-0. Oh, we're going to have a whole lot more to talk about when it comes to that. We've got the numbers, we've got the stats, we've got the box score, we've got the analysis, the opinions, and the Renegades of Puck. Sean C. Smith will be coming up here in just a couple of minutes. That was the Rebirth Sports full game recap. An impressive game. It was lots of fun uh, to cover this one. New Jersey Devils, a really, really good young team with some incredible young players. And Hughes plays in New Jersey, plays right there in the top TV market in the country. Needs to have a lot more talk about him the same way uh, they talk about McDavid, the same way they talk about McKinnon. Uh, they need to start talking about Jack Hughes because hey, if you watch the way he can take over and dominate and control a shift and a uh, individual play and the other worldly skill that he has. Man, what a treat to get to watch him tonight here in uh, Nashville at Bridgestone Arena. That was Rebirth Sports, Rebirth Sports full game recap. We'll be back with the Renegades of Puck and full analysis coming up in just a moment.